All right, boys and girls. So today, I want to quickly tell you before I start the video that uh, normally I want to like you know I have loads of ideas for videos, but it's it's a little process where like I'm still not fully confident. But um, now I've got a sick video lined up. You feel me? I've got um, in this video I asked twenty people random football questions, but you know what? They were weird random football questions. <laughs> All right, boom. So let's get straight into the video. Starting off with a uh, question numero uno. If you could slap one footballer's head, whose head would you slap? So um, we've got Stovin to answer this question, and he says, "If I could slap any footballer's head, it'd probably be Ingolo Kante. You know, he just has the perfect slappable head." See, personally, I would have went for Skirtle because I'd love to slap his egghead. But anyways, moving on to question two. From at Samosa Sterling, he says, Which footballer do you think looks like a Samosa the most? See, now this question here, I can't even, like, describe how... Just take... Just listen to what she says. I had to Google what a fucking Samosa was. But anyway, when I'm looking at it, I'm just thinking, Hmm, you know who that reminds me of? Gareth Barry. Fucking Gareth Barry. Samosa, they look exactly the same, and they probably taste the same with a bit of crunch. But yeah, Gareth Barry. All right, so I realized that if I carry on talking after every single answer given, it will take ages. So I'm just gonna read out the questions and let you listen to the answers so this video goes faster. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's move on to the next question. Next question says, Who would be the best girl? Out of the United players. I could imagine any United player as a female. It'd probably be Marcus Rashford because of the photo with Mo Salah and the woman that kind of looks like Rashford. Um, so, yeah. This ain't really a question, but my friend over here, Ty, just wants to say hello to YouTube. So, hello. Make sure if you made it this far into the video, you drop a like and a subscribe. Carry on to the next question. Moving on to the next question. Nathan says, which player would you want to go to Disneyland with? If I could go to Disneyland with one player, it'd probably have to be Raheem Sterling. Because I feel like he would just be really fun. Yep, that was Raheem Sterling at Disneyland. But the next question says, which PL squad would have the best Netflix show? Okay, so if I have to say which team would have the best Netflix show in the Prem, I would actually go for Man United because at that club, the, si the situation, like, um, at the club, it changes from, like, week to week or most months. Like, there's some crazy story to do with the club. Um, the squad, you have some nice members in the squad, that, you know, the good vibes. And, yeah, just like there's 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 some, some drama most weeks. And, yeah, I think that would actually do quite good numbers, to be honest. Very good answer by my friend Mahad. But anyway, next question is by Big Sam, and he says, Who is the best manager of all time, and why is it Sam Allardyce? Yeah, obviously, Big Sam is just way too good. I think it's just disrespectful to him to compare him to other managers. I think he should have his own level above everyone else. So I think the best manager ever, without including him, has to be Sir Alex Ferguson, just in terms of what he's done with Man United and the amount of trophies he's won and being consistently good for that long is just, yeah, he's the best manager ever. That's obviously without including Big Sam because it's just unfair on everyone else. So, yeah. Can't argue with that Big Sam Allardyce logic. But the next question to look forward to is by Isa. And he says, which footballer from Juventus do you fancy? All right. Which footballer from Juventus do I fancy? I think it's pretty easy here. You got the sexiest, best, most entertaining player of all time. I love seeing him shoot those balls, nice slick passes, and the way he finishes. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Sublime. Cristiano Ronaldo. 100%. 
Who would win in a Royal Rumble, I'm guessing match, between the entire Man United squad? Okay, boys, it's me. I'm answering this question because um, I, I had a good friend of mine answer this one. And he said bye because uh, he'd think that he'd jump and spear everyone and win it, put him out with like 30 different injuries. But uh, his audio corrupted and he sounds like an alien. So I'm going to just answer it, alright? Out of the United squad in a Royal Rumble match, I couldn't make up who would win. Like I, I thought for so long, who could win? And at first I was like, it has to be Maguire because of his strength. But then I asked on Twitter and everyone was like, bye. And so, I, you know, what I'm just going to say, and I'll leave it uh, I'll leave it for you guys to answer the question in the comments. But uh, I feel like it would be a final stare down between Harry Maguire and uh, Bailly. And honorable mention, someone said that it would be um, Aaron Wan-Bissaka because he'd slide tackle and break everyone's legs. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so I answered all of that question just to realize that it wasn't only my friend's video that got corrupted. It was the other 10 people as well. So unfortunately, this is the end of the video. I had like another 10 answers to go. Funny ones as well. I feel bad. Shout out to everyone that gave me answers. This is uh, one of my video ideas. I plan on doing way more. And uh, yeah, you can look forward to that. But yeah, uh, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. And I'll see you with another video whenever I get to it.